That's a song called He Won't Go by the artist Adele off of her album 21, which I was uh, fortunate enough to play keyboards on. Um, I get a call from my boy, Chris Dave, Chris Daddy Dave, and he says, yo, Rick Rubin is trying to get in touch with you. I said, well, hey, give him my number. Let's hook it up. So Rick's people called me and said, would you be available to come to Malibu for a couple of weeks? Because Rick is producing this artist named Adele, and he would like you to play keyboards in the rhythm section. I say, yeah, absolutely. My issue is I have a day job working on a late night show with Jimmy Fallon. So I go to the show's producers and I explain. I say, is it possible to take off for two weeks? Uh, to go to LA, whatever, whatever. And they say, sure. The issue is on Friday nights, I do a segment with Jimmy called Thank You Notes, where I get clown on camera and try my best not to laugh pretty much unsuccessfully all the time. They say, is it possible to, for you to miss the first Friday, but come back in time for the second Friday? I say, sure. I'll just have to take a red eye that Thursday night after that session and get back. Cool. All right, so I get out to the West Coast, get to the studio in Malibu, which is at Shangri-La Studios in Malibu, which is uh, Rick Rubin's famous spot out there. Beautiful studio. Look over and see the water, and you can see whales at times. It's, it's really magnificent. Um, so Rick shows up, and he says, okay, this is what we're going to do. Monday to Friday, we're going to work from noon to 6. Going to be no breaks, no jumping on your phone and checking out social media or taking phone calls. No lunch. We're just going to work for six hours. We're going to try and knock out two songs a day. And cool. I was like, wow, this is some cool structure. I, I can work like this. Cool. So... The band is myself on keyboards, Chris Daddy Dave on drums, the phenomenal drummer, the real innovative, innovative drummer on keyboard on I'm sorry, on guitar, Smokey Hormel and also Matt Sweeney. And on bass, my big brother, one of my favorite people on earth, and one of the greatest musicians in the history of music, Pino Palladino. So the process is like this. Adele had already cut some of these songs, so we would listen to those versions and uh, sit in the control room, write out a cheat sheet, write, write out a chart. And after that, we'd just go in the booth and cut the songs. So the first song, I'm, I write out my cheat sheet, and I say, cool, all right, Rick, so what are you hearing on this? And he goes, I don't know, what do you hear on that? Hmm. Uh, maybe I hear well, upright piano. Well, let's try it. I go to the piano. So everybody goes to their instruments. Adele, she goes. It's part of the band. She's singing also. So everybody is just vibing. Everybody's listening, playing the music, and trying to find just get that right spark. What I learned about Rick's production style is that he has he puts together this band of musicians. And it's like, well, I trust them to be good, good enough musicians for them to find what that spot is. And once they get close, I can massage it into what I feel at that time. So, boom, everybody, we get find, get to those areas. And then Rick jumps in and is like, okay, maybe Chris, let's change the snare drum for this thing and tune this to that. Maybe try a different kind of guitar. James, instead of uh, upright, maybe you play the grand or maybe you play Wurlitzer or maybe you play B3. Boom. And the process is, and then we would cut. And we cut the stuff. And it was cool. Like, we're, again, we're playing all these, we're playing the songs, but Adele is singing with us as part of the, the, the unit live, and she's blowing. She's killing the song. So I'm trying to concentrate on the music, but at the same time, I'm like, man, 
she's really singing. And Adele is like the sweetest, funniest, down home, profane uh, person. And she, we're having a good time with each other. You know, everybody is, is just jokes and fun and really good time. And, and Rick is just super zen, just sitting in the back, you know, thinking about paddle boarding, I'm sure, while well, he's working on the music. We ended up playing all the versions of the song that are on the album, but they kept the four versions, which were He Won't Go, Don't You Remember, Love Song, and One and Only, which is their gospel sound. And, and <laughs> jumped on the red eye Thursday night. I wish I could have stayed a little longer because Rick mentioned it would be cool for you guys to like write something. It didn't didn't happen, but uh that album went on to be the uh, the biggest selling album of the year. Um she won what five or six Grammys, I don't really remember. Um and it's kind of cool and it's a blessing to be involved in something that legendary. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm.